To South Africa, where three naval officers have died after being swept off a submarine by huge waves off the coast in Cape Town. The three officers were part of a group of eight who were conducting a training exercise. Travers Andrews of CDTN has more of the rescue operation. These were the scenes which played out along Cape Town's coastline a rescue operation in full swing to recover missing naval personnel. The naval mariners were swept off a South African naval submarine after conducting a vertical transfer exercise with a maritime helicopter. A large wave swept the naval personnel into the sea, which sparked a rescue operation conducted by various agencies, including the National Sea Rescue Institute. On arrival on the sea, we found at least seven people in the water Three were rescued onto the rescue craft. Um, as four were rescued onto another rescue craft. CPR was started on uh, two of those um, uh, patients and we um, uh, brought them to shore. Sadly, despite paramedics continue with the extensive CPR on the two patients, they were declared deceased. Late in the afternoon, a female was recovered uh, from that uh, um, a submarine and she, despite extensive CPR efforts, she was declared deceased. The incident happened just one nautical mile from the Komaki Beach Lighthouse, and a surface woman was dispatched from a helicopter to assist with the rescue. Rough sea conditions associated with the spring tide made the rescue efforts a challenge, and many have been warned not to enter the sea. The, the, the conditions were, were um, pretty intense. Um, there was a very large swell. Uh, very rough seas and very strong winds. Um, so the the rescue effort is also challenging um, um, in those conditions. Uh, but yes, the, the 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 we had received some warnings recently as well from the NSRI just to try to stay clear of the seas. For now, the South African Navy has lost three committed mariners, including the first female officer in Africa to navigate a submarine. The South African Navy plans to launch an inquiry into the circumstances surrounding the incident. And the move comes off the rough seas associated with the spring tide claimed the life of an elderly woman recently. South Africa's coastline has been battered by unusually high waves, making it a hazard for many vessels entering the sea. Travis Andrews, CGTN, Cape Town.